One person is in custody tonight after leading law enforcement on a chase across Orange County. It ended after the suspect slammed through a fence in front of homes. West Chiefs tonight, Gabriel Gettigas is live from the sheriff's office with the details tonight. And tonight, this all started with a 911 call. What happened? Someone called because they said they saw a man hit a woman and then drag her into a white van before taking off on International Drive. That, according to Orange County Sheriff's Office. When deputies saw the van, they went after it because they believed it was a kidnapping. I was working on a mower in my boss's backyard and uh, I hear a crash. People in Paramore are thankful everyone is okay after a van slammed into a fence near their homes. I honestly didn't know what it was. I thought it was a drunk driver. Somebody got into a car accident, but you know, that's just crazy. After Shane Ultimo heard the big boom, he says minutes later, law enforcement swarmed the neighborhood. I just thought somebody got into an accident and then I look over and the fence is down and the guys in the side yard. Officials say someone called 911 before 4 p.m. Friday and said they saw a man hit a woman, drag her into a white van and then take off all along International Drive near Samoan Court. Deputies went after the van, believing it was a possible kidnapping. The chase ended in Paramore near Lee Avenue and South Street after the van crashed into a fence. They had canines out. Uh, they had a drone at one point. It was crazy. Chopper 2 captured the moments when Orange County Sheriff deputies, Orlando police and state troopers surrounded the van. At one point, law enforcement is seen pointing guns at it before breaking the windows. Officials say one person came out and was taken into custody. The van was cleared and no victim was found inside. We're waiting to learn more about the suspect and what their possible charges will be, but we are told they have a warrant out for carjacking out of another jurisdiction. Reporting live in Orange County, Sanai Gabrigetigas, Washington News.